to avoid overhead of the try here you can see the try and catch block if there is overhead of the try block then we have to use the promises to overhead or to avoid the overhead of that try catch block or when using functions that return promises that time use promises here how to use that promises for the try overhead of the try and catch block see the example here app dot get and the function contains the three parameters here request response and the next then here use the promise here promise dot resolve dot then this is the promise here promise dot resolve we have to resolve that error here promise dot resolve is our function dot then and the function empty function here here unnamed function function without any parameters then open that uh, write the body for that function like throw new error for the synchronous here synchronous function here here throw new error and that message and close that function and catch here catch the error catch inside the bracket next that means that here error will be passed to the express and close the function close the gate function here here since that promises automatically catch both synchronous errors and the rejected promises promises automatically catch the synchronous error and rejected promises so you can simply provide next as the final catch handler here you can simply provide the next as the final catch handler here and express will catch that errors because that catch handler is the given catch handler is given the errors as the first arguments catch handler contains the error as the first arguments here okay so this is the way we can use promises to avoid that overhead of try and catch block or when when we are using that functions that returns the promises so use promises to avoid that overhead of try and catch block then here we could also use a chain of handlers chain of handlers to rely on synchronous error catching by reducing the asynchronous code to something uh, travel here see the example app dot get inside the bracket slash comma function with the parameters request response and next and here you can see the uh, read file function fs dot read file that may be valid file comma encoding function utf8 and function consisting of error and data this is the callback for the read file here response dot locals dot data is equal to data if it is success then proceed that with this response send response dot locals dot data if it is is there any error proceed pass that error by using next function here next error and write the function request dot request comma response that means we are going to if there is no error we are going to process that data here so here in this example there are there are a couple of travel statement from the read file read file call there are many travel statements are there so if read file causes an error if that read file causes any error then it passes that error to the express so otherwise it will uh, quickly return to the word of synchronous error handling in the next handler next handler in the chain here you can see then the example here this tries to process this example tries to process the data if this fails in the synchronous error handler if it is fails in the synchronous error handler so it will catch it so if you had uh, done this processing inside the read file uh, callback then the application might exit and the express error handlers will not return then that whichever method we are going to use here if you want to use uh, express error handlers to be called in the in and the application to survive you must ensure that the express receives the error here so we can also use chain of handlers here in the that are uh, handlers to rely on the synchronous error catching here then the default error handler so express comes with the built in error handler that takes care of any errors that might be encountered in the app so we are express comes with the default error handler for the handling or taking care of the errors that are encountered in the app here so this default error handling middleware function is added 
at the end of the middleware function stack so this default error handling middleware function is added in at the end of middleware function so if so if you pass an error to the next function and you do not handle it in the custom error handler so it will be handled by the built in error handler so it is not if it is not possible to handle that error or we are when we are going to pass that error to the next handler then if if that error is not handled in the custom error handler then it will be handled by the built in error handler so that error will be written to the client with the stack trace so that uh, stack trace is not included in the production environment here so when an error is written then some information is added to the response like uh, the response dot status code is set from the error dot status if this value is outside the 4xx or 5xx range it will be set to the 500 so the response dot status message is set according to the status code and the body will be the html of the status code message when in production environment otherwise it will be like error dot stack so any header specified in that error headers are object so if it is not possible to handle that error by the next function then the built in error will handle that or that built in error handler will handle that error here so if you call the next with an error after you have started writing the response like uh, if you encounter an error while streaming the response to the client while streaming response to the client at that time if you encounter an error then the express default error handler closes the connection and fails the request so when you add a custom error handler you must delegate to the default express handler so when that headers have already been sent to the client here see the function error handler with the parameters error request response and the next so here you can see if response dot header sent then if that header is sent then return the error or pass that error to the express here return next comma sorry return next inside the bracket that error and the status is response dot status 500 the status is for here we have seen that it will set that error status here if that value is outside the 4 double x or 5 double x range it will be set to 500 okay here response dot status 500 and yes see the response dot render that response here render error comma then the error so here you can see the default error handler can trigger if you call that next with an error in in this code more than once if you if even if that custom <coughs> sorry even if custom error handling middleware is placed is in that place here the default error handler is get triggered when when that uh, next with an error in your code will be called more than once here this return next error then writing error handlers so define error handling middleware function in the same way like uh, that other middleware functions except error handling functions they have four arguments instead of three like uh, error request response and next we have seen that app dot use function and the parameters are error request response and the next so like console dot error print that error stack trace error dot stack and the status is like a response dot status 500 dot send something broken this is the writing the error handler this is the error handling in the middleware functions then define error handling middleware at last after other app dot use function and root calls how to define that error handling in the uh, middleware at last year after the app dot use function and the root calls you see the example where body parser it require the body parser module then where method override then require method override here import that um, modules here body parser then method override then you see app dot use what to use here body parser dot url encoded and it contains the extended colon true 
then app dot use use body parser dot json then app dot use method override app dot use function now here see the function error comma request comma response comma next these are the parameters are passes to the passing to the use function here defining that error handling at the last here we are going to define that error handler at the last so responses from that responses from within a middleware function can be in any format <coughs> sorry responses can be in any format such as html error page or a simple message or a json string so that's it for today's session in this session we have seen the error handling in the express js we have seen the default error handler and for the synchronous that uh, errors are occur with that a synchronous code or the synchronous code here we have seen that uh, that uh, calling that or defining that error handler at the last or at the top of that code how to trigger that uh, or uses or using of uses of try catch block in this error handling so we will stop here thank you